Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our fight against the Hive. It is one of those missions where we have the rare opportunity of getting more soldiers leveled up and without our GTS we really need to take any opportunity that we can get. So hack the workstation it is. Keep in mind we don't have a hacker. We're playing with new classes. <clears throat> so really we need to get, uh, go there and there will be quite a few aliens that are going to prevent us from getting there. I decided to take Taurus uh, with us again as uh, the medic and with having our medical uh, uh, medkit uh, here, medical medkit that is, we will be able to heal multiple times uh, thanks to their passive ability. Zukuger is going to join us. We got Namri here, Namri Universe, one of our longtime viewers, and she submitted that character a while ago. So welcome to the team. And finally Hayward, who also makes a reunion. I just randomized <clears throat> the three other characters that could join at the very beginning. Now you might need to fight for a promotion. The others will just get a promotion by going into the GTS at a later stage. And let's see if uh, even all four of these soldiers will survive the mission. Good, we're landing outside of uh, the city center of Beijing. Last time I checked, Beijing didn't look like that, but okay, fair enough. We see, by the way, the winter uh, tiles in action for the first time. Typically cities don't have a wintry effect and we got this nice new um, yeah, shipping container up here plus uh, those improvised homes. A little bit of a washing machine down there. Really adds to the look and feel but let's not get carried away. Holy moly that is a massive map. We gotta be fast as in ultra fast in order to get to the target. Zoo Cougar rushes up. Wow, can't believe that... Where is it? Oh, not sure how we're going to do this mission. This might be a loss from the get-go. I have moved the absolute maximum. Keep in mind we do not we do not have a drone. The Comet med uh, Medic does not have any drones. Wow. Well, okay. we're in concealment, so I will take the risk of just pushing as far as humanly possible, even if it means that we're standing in the open. Nice. De facto, we're playing with two turns less. We have double moved and double moved. And we're still not there. This is hardcore. These new maps are not made for the timer length. Okay, how do we deal with that? can't really wait for a long period of time but I don't want to engage blindly Got it covered. Wow we yeah that that is a long long distance no cover. Confirmed. Haywire moves up here. And Namri charges over there. Mainly because I want to use the maximum movement distance. Now we're being spotted out now. That's unfortunate. Uh, 
That indeed is unfortunate. Um, tell you what. I, I guess that'll be okay. Taurus moves up. Aggressively pushes forward. Gets the kill. Seems doable. Memory. Does the same. <laughs> Minimum damage. Okay, sure. Well, let's hope he's going to resurrect instead of uh, taking shots. Because he might one, uh, one shot us. Uh, make no mistake, by the way, he could have done that any time beforehand. Namri takes revenge. Okay. Or not. The guy does not have any loot. This is for you. So I'm just trying to speed this up. Oh my gosh, we destroyed the cover of Namri. Let's do this. I'm pushing forward because we're running out of time, even if that means that we're gathering new enemies. Overwatching here. Fifty-fifty on killing the trooper. I think that's the right call. Down to very, very few turns. Two. We got a double move. I think we've already lost. We charge all the way up to here. Maybe get there. Really sucks uh, to lose because of uh, the map design, but that's part of the challenge here. Getting a couple of promotions. We can reach the location, but we can't finish the hack. That is disappointing. Reload. You can't handle me. Kill. On the move. We've got the objective in sight. Yep. Well, Good to go. that's the life of XCOM from time to time. Transponder readings from the Advent Network have gone dark. Enemy forces have locked out the terminal. Okay. In return, how about we're just taking. Some careful measures. Out. No need to ask twice. 
I did what I could. I even pushed forward to the absolute... Like, legal limit. The on uh, sensible, but it just didn't work out. Easy now, soldier. Universe gets some healing. No problem, boss. I'm on it. And we're overwatching. Reload, overwatch. More aliens from downstairs. Which in return prompts the question, should we position up here? Nope, they are right beneath us on the left hand side here. Never mind. On the right hand side. My reading was off. Perfect. We got ourselves in a solid firefight. Cougar. Make sure that the demolitionist is falling down. The fall damage alone killed him. Universe, aka Namri. Takes a nice little flanking shot. Finishes this guy. He could easily flank us wherever he is. So, might as well go as close as possible. Nice little hit. I like what I'm seeing. And we're maximizing our chance of hitting him, even if we end up in the open. Like I said, he can flank us any time of the week. Well, great start. GG's. We lost our very first mission. So much for the double engineer start. Okay, so Taurus got a promotion. Number one, our medical specialist is still at rank one. Okay, cool. But we have a few options. Adrenaline rush. Activate to gain an additional non-movement action that can be used even after dashing at the cost of a 33% aim penalty for the remainder of the turn. That looks like an awesome ability. Let me just process that again. Activate to gain, get an additional non-movement action that can be used even after dashing at the cost of a, th a penalty. Well, that's great. Reposition once per turn after landing a standard shot or flank, uh, on a flanked or exposed target that would end your turn. You gain a movement only action to reposition. So this is essentially implacable and this here is essentially run and gun-ish. Grants a shadow step, unit doesn't trigger overwatch fire or reaction fire, and a plus five bonus to dodge. Allows free actions granted from activating emergency eight and rapid deployment to be used after dashing. Hmm. Well, I would say it's not bad. But I think adrenaline rush caught my eye right away.
Ryan Gunn with 33% uh, penalty ability that cannot uh, that cannot be used after Ryan Gunn are also blocked from activating Adrenaline Rush. Damage penalty applies to all sources. Two uh, turns cooldown. Wow, that is hardcore. I like it. Sue Cougar got a promotion to Marine. Great uh, class symbol. Well, very well done design. I like that. So, what is his uh, speciality? Fire discipline. The Marine's proficiency with reactive fire improves with experience. Level 1. Gain the ability to set the minimum a chance to hit before reaction shots can be taken. 0, 33, 66. Mm -hmm. Reaction shots can critically hit and receive a, a pretty sizable aim bonus. Rifles receive this bonus on all reaction shots, but cannons and machine guns only receive it on suppression shots. Okay. Aim bonus for reaction shots increases. Weapon magazine gets extra ammunition. Aim bonus increases further. Aim bonus for cannon and machine gun suppression uh, shots applies for both single target and zone suppression. Okay, so he's more kind of the suppression uh, person, I get the feeling. Sustained fire. <clears throat> Taking direct shot will not end your turn, but any remaining action points will be converted to a special type that only allows overwatching, suppressing or reloading. Ah, okay, so we're firing and then we're overwatching, uh, suppressing or reloading. Okay, got you. Suppressing fire. Suppress and pins down an enemy through the volume of fire. Gun grants both a single target and zone suppression. Suppression costs two ammunition. Um, but follow up shots do not cost any ammunition. Zone suppression costs two to activate. Any follow up shots do cost ammunition. Zone suppression, three rounds cooldown with rifle, four turns with machine guns. Zone suppression with cannon or machine guns has wider area. Suppression will be cancelled if unit damaged. Suppression shots can be taken with covering fire, will not immediately remove suppression aim penalty, will continue to apply to targets for attacks until they move, interrupting the attack with covering fire. Okay, cool. Uh, so pretty much long war uh, suppression fire. And it strikes me he uh, potentially can take the heavier guns and he also has the sort of shotgun cool Namri has gotten the sapper class which has the ability explosive ordnance level one uh, gains a grenade a pocket allowing the sapper to equip additional grenades or rocket so that's the extra slot grenades and rockets that are damaging the environment deal three additional uh, environmental damage then later gains plus one charge uh, on grenades in your grenade pocket okay so that's essentially automatically giving you the extra grenade maximum scatter when firing a, ro a rocket propelled grenades is significantly reduced okay grenades and rockets that damage gain a 25% chance to critically hit and deal extra damage and last but not least Gain plus one additional charge on the grenades. So she's really going to have a lot of grenades. Maximum scatter and grenades are further reduced. Standard explosive grenades and rockets deal five environmental damage and plus one base damage and plus one on uh, crits. Okay, cool. Very good. Seppa can use the grenade launcher to fire grenades rather than throwing them. Allows grenade launcher greater capacity. All grenades benefit from the grenade launcher's range increase. Additional grenade can be equipped in a unit uh, in a unique grenade only slot. Uh, range of launch grenades can be further improved by upgrading the grenade launcher. And defensive mind deploys a small defensive proximity nine in the neighboring tile. Will damage any enemy that comes in range. Um, deploying does not break concealment. Deploying a defensive mine is a free action. Defensive mines do 45 base damage, have one tile proximity explosion radius. Defensive mines count as standard explosives for the bonus of uh, granted via exploding ordnance. 
but do not reduce the benefits. Okay, cool. So we can plant a couple of mines, which is an ability that I think with the chrysalids we can actually use to our advantage. And finally, our hacker has arrived. Tech specialist uh, squatty Catalina Hayward is uh, reporting for duty. We got protocol packages. Gain the A protocol ability, five turns. Gains the blinding protocol ability, uh, one initial charge. Oh, okay, so this time you don't have unlimited charges uh, for the protocols. Uh, gains the blinding protocol ability, one initial charge. Gains the combat protocol ability. So all of the protocols. I don't know what blinding protocol does. We are going to find out. Um, ABC protocols will slowly recharge after all initial charges are depleted. Hmm. Which means you need to use all three and then they are recharging. Level three um, gains uh, the Haywire protocol ability. Attempt to hack a robotic enemy, shutting them down, possibly taking control for three turns. So they reduced the uh, turns by, I think, two. Gains the repair protocol, sends a gremlin uh, to mechanically repair an ally. Not sure why that would be helpful because we don't have mechanical allies. Well, maybe they're taking over robots, but why would I want to heal them? Gremlin protocol abilities no longer consume remaining actions. Oh, okay. All uh, protocols are effectively free um, standard actions and not uh, full round actions. ABC protocols start with uh, one additional charge. Um, protocol recharge timers are reduced. Okay, cool. So we're going to use uh, this is going to use a lot uh, more of the drone. We got hacking, remotely hack targets, and upgrade hacking slot uh, stat. Activate to negate uh, the negative consequences of any failed hacks and gets 15 hacking bonus. Costs one action to activate, which is cool. Fail safe, I like it. I like it. Um, Commander, each of our soldiers has a unique relationship with their squad mates. As they complete combat missions together, we got a few uh, pieces of loot at least. It isn't the worst. New objective added. Hello, Commander. Commander. I've updated our current objectives based on the most recent findings. Commander, we have a lead on the alien black site, but we'll have to Well, we know where the black site is at. Not that it will help um, a lot for now. But we at least know where we need to go. Anyways, uh, let's move on with... Oh, wait, before we're continuing, we need color codings. Field medic, we got that. Yeah, assault infantry, so that's the assault. Yep, marksman. Marine. Um, Marine, I think... We are going to take a blue here. Just like the infantry in Long War. Like it. Then we got the Sapper, which is our Grenadier for all intents and purposes. So Namri is going to get the good old yellow color coat good and how do we color code our hackers our tech specialists that's a good question could use the shinobi color coding uh, that i had from long war i mean for the purpose of what we're trying to do, I think that is fine. So orange means uh, sapper. No, tech specialist, sorry. I'm still trying to get used to the classes. These are going to be all of our six classes that we do have. By the way, great to see that Namri is out of commission for 29 days, fantastic. Well, it is what it is. Let's continue. Uh, 
at least we're getting one engineer via our scan. New objective added. The admin officers have clearly been modified to allow for their subordinates to receive new orders psionically. We could get resistance communication, which I think wouldn't be the worst idea ever. Getting modular weapons is a five day job, so might as well just do that real quick. And then officer afterwards for PCSs. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. There's the engineer. On the engineering team, we can start clearing out space for new facilities, Commander. Immediately starting to clear out the space. GTS still takes 17 days, so we're okay. Anything critical among the alien components left over in this area. If we clean this stuff out, we could probably For now, we can heal a little bit faster. Is underway, Commander, but it's going to take some time to get all that stuff cleared out. I haven't found a, a different faction so far, so might as well just continue with healing. And there is a scientist and a marine available. Cory Luigi Field. Plus a lot of intel. And this is going to be uh, one of uh, the horde missions. So we're going to see uh, no he uh, headshot, uh, able uh, loss. So it's going to suck a lot. Plus there are also, I think, aliens on that one, so we're going to fight at least against Advent and the loss at the same time. On the other hand, it's a relatively speaking easy mission. So what I would want to do is potentially get a few more rookies up and running and support them with our field medic. I think uh, Sydney is just going to sit through these missions mainly a to provide uh, healing but b to also allow us uh, to have one uh, character that uh, that will um, allow us to buy the upgrades in the gts so i need to make sure that we're leveling her at the beginning so that we can buy squad size upgrades in terms of general equipment let's just go through that real quick i mean we do have a few supplies so building items we can build nanoscale vests for 60 supplies i think we're building one mainly because i want our um, our field medic to be really really safe we have that vest only slot which gives her massive seven hit points so yay not bad so far take that advent good we got scatter guns and she can also uh, use bullpups firing bullpup does not end uh, the turn the question is um does that also hold uh, is that also holding true for uh, for her potentially not sword three to five or we're taking three to four knife attacks against nearest enemy If I recall correctly, if we only take a combat knife, then run gun will refresh faster. So for now, let's just go with a knife. Got the big fat combat knife right there. Vector rifle. Firing primary always. <laughs> not sure why we would not take uh, the marks. Well, I see, I see. So technically, if we were to give him the vector rifle, we could uh, benefit from him uh, being able to move and shoot. But we're going to play with a classical sniper. Holo targeter isn't bad. 
traditional hunt handgun on the other hand isn't bad either so we're going with the handgun standard loadout so far already worked through her loadout I think Hogbite's loadout uh, doesn't need any further explanation Zukuger gets a heavier machine gun and the sort of shotgun is really good for short ranged uh, immediate damage 6 to 8 is fantastic very good technical specialist only has the gremlin Oh, look at that. Either a sniper rifle or ball pup. That's an interesting, uh, that's an interesting kind of setup. Since we are going to, since I'm going to play that character very much as a support with the uh, protocols, I actually will give uh, her the sniper rifle. Which of course would suck if she goes in. Um, so maybe we'll, we'll just equip her whatever is needed depending on the actual situation. But the sniper rifle is a really interesting choice. It both of, Don't get me wrong, the fact that we don't have um, normal assault rifles on them anymore is a clear downgrade to what we had before. Assault rifles are Make no mistake, are a fantastic weapon because they of their versatility. The sniper rifle is cool. However, the sniper rifle itself does not help you when you need to move a lot. So, and with no secondary weapon, there is no fallback position except like a grenade, but we're not going to have that forever. Balpap, on the other hand, uh, mm, yeah, I think for the beginning it might actually be better to have the bullpup. Zapper. Grenade launcher. That's good. I like it. Sword rifle. Also good. I like that as well. Oh yeah. The new classes are fun. I definitely like what I'm seeing. Super excited to test them out. If you're super excited as well and uh, if you like the new classes then hit the recruit button which is that uh, convenient thumb uh, up and uh, make sure that this video gets a bit of exposure. Take care and see you in two days. Bye bye!